everyone, in this video I want to talk about a new feature which is weekly planning and how you can use the weekly notes. Now this feature doesn't exist very long so far, but in the alpha and beta phases I could already figure out f at least four ways how you can use the new weekly notes. Uh, but before I start I want to show you how you can navigate between those notes. So right now I am in a daily note which is Friday and Friday belongs to week 28. So I see in the reference area above the day uh, the week 28 and at the moment the references is empty or the reference area is empty because I didn't have uh, added anything to week 28 just for this example. Um, in the sidebar and the left sidebar you see it changed a little bit and you have a tab for daily notes as usual and below daily notes you have a new, new um, option which is weekly notes. And in the weekly notes you can, it is a, an individual or dedicated note where you can add things as uh, you're used to. And on the right side, in the calendar sidebar, you see the events of the full week, which is selected. And you can jump to another week just by selecting it. You see you, you got a, a week selector here now. Okay, let's go back to the daily node. And one more way you can basically navigate between those nodes is you can use drag and drop. So let me just create some task here and you can start dragging here and by clicking on this uh, icon and then uh, drop it on the reference area of the week and it will be moved to the week basically by cut and paste and you can move it also back and there are two ways to modify this behavior so let me move it back again so you can also when you're dragging and before you drop you can press either option which creates a duplicate which is useful when you have a kind of recurring task and you want to move it from the week every day to your day and then check it off. Or you can also create a sync line, which is a feature which was introduced in the last version. You can, uh, for this you press command and you see the mouse changes to a link. And if I drop it now, I create a sync line. So this means any, anything I change in this line will be also changed in the other line. So you see the blue asterisk, it means this is synchronized. So if I check it off and you wait a couple of seconds, then we also checked off in the weekly node and weekly nodes just show open tasks, headings and bullets. So the closed task will just disappear from the reference area. Let me delete this for now. And for the sync lines to work, you need to go into the preferences under lab at the moment and enable sync lines here. Then the, you can use command to drop a task uh, or anything and then create a sync line out of it. Okay, let's begin with the three or at least four use cases uh, uh, you can use the weekly notes for. And the first one is goals. So you can set goals for the week, obviously. And because they are in the reference area, you see your goals every day. So you get reminded of what you need to do and don't get distracted so quickly. So let me create a heading goals and I just copy the a couple of example goals. Basically my goals for this or yeah for this week so it's releasing a new version create more content and fix issues and start working on the next update so now if we go back to the daily node you see they you don't need to do anything with those goals you don't need to drag them or check them off you just need to see them so you get reminded of what needs to be done and next week you can uh, set new goals once your once the week is finished so this is uh, use case number one and use case number two is setting uh, your tasks for the week or planning the tasks for the coming week and you can um, integrate this with your goals very nicely. Um, let me copy this over. So I use the same goals but under the goals I add also tasks indented um, which correspond to the goals. So if you go to the day you see they, they're also indented below the bullet points. And now you can drag and drop them from the week into the day. And then either check it off or uh, add some more subtasks. Or if you, if you didn't uh, get it done completely, you can also move it back to the week. And uh, if you drop it on the last task in this case or in, on one of those tasks which are already indented, it will also automatically indent it for you again when you drop it. And uh, so this is um, your weekly tasks and weekly goals. And the third way is to use the weekly notes as your inbox. 
The daily notes already were a natural inbox, which was uh, kind of resetted or reset every day, or resets every day. And the weekly notes is uh, uh, follow the same concept, but they reset every week. So uh, maybe you have some uh, article you want to read or some video to watch. Just let me copy this again, um, for example. And uh, you capture them first in the daily notes, but then you don't want to deal with those um, inbox items until next week, or you want to deal with them during the week, but you don't want to move them from day to day every time. So um, let me add one more heading here, which is inbox. And now if I go to the daily notes, I can basically drag them into this heading and I have moved them to the weekly note. Now this resets every, every week and you would need to move them from last week to the new week. But this is like a tripwire which allows you to, uh, or which forces you to review your um, old inbox items. And you can basically leave them in the old week or delete them if they're not so important anymore, which happens very often uh, in my case. And the last use case, so this was inbox, and the last use case is obviously review. You can review your past week. So you can create another heading here at the end of the week, for example, and either you reflect on the week um, just like that. If you have already enough thoughts, you can write them down. Or you can also use some formal questions like uh, what, sh what should I stop doing, what should I start doing, what should I continue doing. Just um, add some points below this and review your week this way. You can also use this time uh, to review your inbox, for example, and your goals and prepare for the next week. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful. The, this update is available now and I am excited to see what other use cases we or the community come up with. Okay, thanks and bye.